hello everyone welcome to today's class so today we are going to test one scenario that is your uh, valuation class okay so whenever let's say we are going to here let's say mm01 we are creating a material master so there you are having some issues in the valuation classes so i got this request from some of the student who are trying to practice okay so let's say this one so let me first tell you what is the issue then we will be going for the what we should configure here okay so basically we will be going to the next screen so here most of the people or some people they are not getting this valuation class as the proper okay so which valuation class they are creating they are not getting it okay so uh, some people they have said that uh, while they are creating this through the video or through our video or from where they are creating this valuation class this valuation class is not coming to this material okay so now we will see a scenario what needs to be configured how the valuation class will be populating here automatically or how you can select the valuation classes normally some people you might getting like while creating the raw material you are getting the valuation class as 3000 only what is the default in the dummy system right so now for valuation class pop up what you need to do first if you are going for a new material type so let's say we need to go to slash n oms2 okay so here you can create a here you can create a new material type if you require you can create a new um, like new material type so we will create a new material type so let's say we will be going to roh copy this one so we will be copying it so we will be copying it to uh, let's say why roh i am not sure if it is already there or not raw material test let's say So we have created the YROH material. Let's save it. Now we have copied this from the raw material. Okay. So if you go to create this material right now. Okay. So let's go to create this material. So we'll go to MM01. So now if you select this material as raw material testing right this one we have created raw material test if you enter this one select this one let's say any plant we are creating okay so now anything we will take okay now let's come to the last so here the valuation class is coming as ZN01. So here you can see the drop down. So here it is the raw material coming as ZN01. So for raw material ROH we can see it. Okay, let's go to this settings. Okay, so now we will be going to SPRO. Here you can go to here you can go to material management from here you can go to valuation and account assignment from here you can go to account determination so from here you can go to account determination without wizard here you can go to define valuation classes okay so who are finding trouble like if you are if you think that the video is little bit fast so just slow down it a bit and uh, listen for the path and everything okay so here if we see the material type and account category reference if we see it so we can go to material type which material type we have created from roh right if we go to y roh y r o h we have created this material type right now so here we can see the y r o h material account category reference is zr01 so if you go to zr01 in the valuation classes if we go to position 
and valuation class okay so we will go to let's see zr01 here you can see this is zr01 account category reference right this is what we have seen in the material type so this account category reference is added to the valuation class zn01 so that's why it is coming here as zn01 by default there is no other valuation classes are there so that's why it is coming by default okay so now if you want to create a new valuation class for this material type how we can do it so you can go to the same tree or same node you can go you can come to this account category reference and valuation classes so here let's say we are going to create a new account category reference okay so let's go to a new entry so we will be creating uh, y101 let's say we are taking y101 this is okay so this is account category reference testing just save it so we have created y101 okay so now let's go back and click on the valuation classes here you have to create a new valuation class okay so go to new entries so here also we can say we will be taking the same valuation class let's say y101 and account category reference is y101 so to not to like uh, if you are going to create a same valuation class just for te testing purpose we are taking the same name so you can take a different no name also okay so let's say valuation class testing okay now save it so we have created the valuation class and we have assigned it to the account category reference now let's go back let's go to the okay go to yes so here we can see this is the zroh which is defined as ZR01 so we will just hold on a second so here slash n so here in the material also let's go to slash n mm 01 okay let's just exit this one once we are exit exiting then it will be showing us the because of that only it is showing us the log data so right now here we can go to the material type okay what is our material type our material type is y r o h right so here for y r o h it is showing z r 0 1 so now we will be taking y 1 0 1 enter now save it okay so now our y r o h material type is having y 1 0 1 account category reference and y 1 0 1 is having valuation class as y101 you can take multiple also multiple valuation class to account category reference no problem but here we are only defining this one okay so right now if you go to create a material okay so we have selected this raw material test now if you enter this one select the same rp01 rm01 select the same test valuation material okay here you can take the relevant data okay just enter now okay just hold on a second maybe this is not saved yet now let's go again now if you see valuation class we can see y101 is coming right here in the drop down there is nothing else is there that's why it is coming directly if it is a multiple you have created multiple valuation class for this material type and 
account category reference it should come here and you can select from the multiple selection okay so this is basically your configuration or your settings for valuation class i hope this is clear to everyone who are having the issue of valuation classes you are able to you will be able to create a material with your valuation classes now we can save the material okay so the material is created right now so i believe it is clear to everyone all of you if you are having any question still you can also ask in the group or you can ask in the comment section also you can ask okay that's it for today bye bye for today we'll meet up again in some other topics